Welcome back to the House of Baseball. I'm Coach Shrek. Uh, I'm here to address a comment that I got on one of my videos um, to address actually two videos, um, two separate videos that I was going through and there were two drills that I explained in those videos that uh, come into question. Um, and uh, David Triple D, I appreciate that. I appreciate you calling me out on that so I can address this. I don't want this to be a confusing factor to anybody. Um, you know, so in the two drills for me to explain, uh, the one drill I was talking about hitting a curveball and throwing behind uh, the batter. In another drill, I say throwing from behind, soft tossing from behind a batter is actually a bad thing. Uh, so I can see that confusion happened. Uh, but in the positions of where they're at are two totally different positions. So I want to clarify that in the one that I do not like, uh, the drill I don't like is having the coach behind the plate, behind the batter over here, soft tossing to the front of the plate, and then driving that ball out. I don't like this drill. It, it closes the shoulder too much. It brings the focus from out where our pitches are normally being delivered to back here. Um, what they're focused on is trying to bring, uh, keep the kids head in, stop opening up and, th and throwing out, uh, which is pulling you away from the plate. Uh, when you do this, you're not gonna hit anything on the outside. You're gonna swing and a miss. Um, so on those aspects, I don't like this back uh, toss. The one I did talk about to use would be for curveball use. So if you have a coach uh, behind on the side, behind the hitter, so I would be in position to hit and I would have a coach over here soft tossing in the zone this way, uh, what we're looking on doing is picking up a ball at this point and watching it carry down uh, as a curveball. So on this angle, we're looking to hit at different points on this angle to drive the ball to different spots on the field. So in aspect, this one, I'm looking for hand adjustment, uh, still focused out towards where a ball would be coming from, uh, but he is soft tossing from behind me. So that's where the confusion lies. Uh, I hope that clarifies uh, those different spots. I really appreciate those comments. So I, you know, keep them coming. Um, always looking to help uh, in any aspect I can for you. So in those two drills, those are the things you're going to want to focus on. Not this one, but the one that's soft tossing in to help you with the curveball. Uh, good drill to use. Uh, the other drill that I talked about was in the front, right? We're going to soft toss it, lob it in. So we're going to get that 12-6 uh, kind of feel for a baseball coming in, being able to adjust our hands for that. Uh, bucket drill, where we're bouncing the ball off the bucket, coming at different angles in, being able to adjust our hands to hit those balls. That's where we want to uh, focus on is having that um, hand-eye coordination to be able to adjust last minute type scenarios and being able to hit that ball. So I do appreciate it. I hope that explains it uh, well enough for you, uh, David. I really appreciate the comment again. And uh, if you have other ones, uh, feel free. Uh, very open to them. Uh, good, bad, or ugly, it makes no difference to me. Uh, we'll critique them as baseball. I'm not 100% the best at this game. Uh, I am very good at it, but I always like to learn. So from you, I can learn and hopefully uh, you can learn from me. Uh, I hope I give you that sense for you. If there's any uh, other comments or questions, please feel free to put them down. And I want you to always remember, respect the game. Thank you.